I'm Roger Nelson from No No Gallery and you're on City Search. Secret TV. My gallery is called Utopian Slumps. Um, I opened it as a not-for-profit space in Collingwood in 2007 and uh, reopened as a commercial space in Melbourne CBD in April 2010. I think that once someone has sort of broken the barrier and come to a couple of galleries and experienced um, visiting a show and maybe talking to the person running it and realising it that, that it is accessible, that a lot of the younger galleries in Melbourne are approachable, um, that there's artists showing that, you know, that people will like, that they don't necessarily need to have a degree in the arts to be able to understand. Uh, no No Gallery has been here for coming up on two years. We opened in early 2010. You know, I think people think an art gallery is somewhere where you have to go and be really quiet and respectful and stare at everything for a really long time, but that's not, that's not what what I'm about, it's not what No No Gallery is really about. You kind of come in and spend time with what you want to spend time with. You know, coming here is not meant to be an intimidating, kind of scary, kind of overly highbrow kind of thing. It's meant to be, you know, just a nice way of kind of filling in a few minutes on your way to the markets or, um, you know, having a few drinks on, on, on a Thursday night. Gallery first opened um, a couple of years ago. We were pretty much the only um, kind of gallery of this kind, gallery that showed kind of experimental, new, weird kind of art. Um, so I very much sort of think of it as something to do when for people who live in the area and also something to do when for people who are visiting the area. There's actually not a whole of a lot to do in North Melbourne. It's kind of like a country town right next to the city. I think it's really important that that barrier is kind of broken and sometimes it takes just getting to know people outside of a gallery before they're willing to come into the gallery or you know a, an interesting media piece or something to get someone's interest and then once that barrier sort of is broken down um, it's a lot easier to be able to get people coming in who might not be as versed in the arts as others. So this is part of an ongoing collaborative project I'm doing with Amber Wallace um, Admittedly, this is more amber than me. So these are woodblock prints. Okay. Um, and you can see the wood grain there. And they're, it's, it's sort of uh, an old technique. Um, I've got a show here uh, next year in April, and then a show in London uh, mid-year, and then we're gonna do a pop-up show at the Hong Kong Art Fair next year. These two paintings here are by Amber Wallace, um, who's showing at Utopian Slumps at the moment. The top is um, Dark Gully Rain, and the bottom is Dark Gully Rain, That Sky. Both of them are influenced by the landscape, but also have a lot of elements of abstraction and expressionism in them. This is Penguins, Puffins and Pelicans by Charlotte St. Clair Wilson. And we were laughing so much when we were installing this um, about how we were never, ever, ever gonna read all of these books. They were all her grandmothers. Mm -hmm. 